What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you every single LEGO Captain America minifigure ever made. That's right, we're not missing a single one, including the Comic-Con exclusive figures up front here and some other rare ones that are sprinkled in. So sit back and relax, enjoy the showcase, and be sure to drop a comment and let me know how many of these Captain Americas you have, and let's get right into it. All right, so the journey begins back in 2011 at Toy Fair where we got our first ever Captain America and Iron Man. These were the first Lego Marvel minifigs that were introduced for fans to be able to get excited about the new theme coming up, and there were only 125 of each made. Now, that being said, these two are not on the lanyard, so these are ones that would have been given out to employees or something like that, of which there were some more made. There's an estimate that there's more like 500-ish Captain America America's out there, but the interesting thing is the first ever Lego Captain America wasn't even Steve Rogers. This is based off of Bucky when Bucky became Captain America in the comics. You can see he's got a completely unique shield piece, great printing on the back as well as the front, and a completely unique headpiece that makes this figure rare, exclusive, and an awesome piece of history all at once. The following summer, we got our first wave of LEGO Marvel sets, which gave us 2012 Captain America. Now, a lot of people didn't like the 2012 Captain America outfit in the movie to begin with, but I actually think the LEGO version translated pretty well. This was way before LEGO even started to do dull molded legs, so it's hard to fault it for not having that. And also, it was one of the uh, more unique caps because he has this darker colored shield, and as you'll see with our next figure and the next several that come after it, Captain America got a lighter colored shield going forward. I always loved the head print on this, and I think that the torso print has held up pretty well over the last decade. Interestingly, we didn't get a cap figure in 2013, but in 2014, we got the Avengers Assemble Captain America based off of the cartoon. This was an awesome version because it did harken back to the good old comic book days while still giving us something accurate to the cartoon. And while I'd still love to get a truly 100% comic book accurate Captain America someday, this is definitely a nice starting point and a figure that I think has held up exceptionally well over the years. 2015 was a big year for Captain America. In fact, it's one of the more populous years for getting Cap minifigs. And the first one we're going to look at is the Captain America statuette or trophy from the giant helicarrier set. The helicarrier set was built to scale with these little micro figs here. And this is our Captain America figure. There's no printing on the back, but there is printing on the torso. And he was 100% exclusive to that set, which makes quite a valuable little figure as you see it here. 2015 also introduced the Age of Ultron Captain America, which was again used the following year for Civil War. If you're a really big Captain America nerd, you know that the Civil War outfit is almost identical to the Age of Ultron, the biggest difference being the red lines on the torso here being removed for Civil War. But the Lego minifig stayed exactly the same because Lego loves to just reuse parts, so it's still a pretty good minifig all around, although it's technically only accurate to Age of Ultron and not Civil Civil War. Throwing back to that giant helicarrier set I mentioned before, this Captain America is identical to the one we looked at just before, except this one is unmasked. This figure came with the helicarrier because it did come with a handful of regular scaled minifigs just to display alongside of it, and this one is technically exclusive to that set, although the parts aren't exclusive. Like I said, the torso and shield and all that come from the same cap we just looked at, and the head and hair combo used the Star-Lord hair that was introduced around the same time and the head from young obi-wan from episode one that was being used at the time so all in all it's a pretty cool figure but it is technically sort of exclusive to that set although the pieces weren't entirely exclusive that same year, 2015, gave us a Comic-Con exclusive Captain America, which of course was Sam Wilson. Now this one is awesome with the printing on the back with his folded in wings, dull molded legs with red on bottom, blue on top, a great shield, and an awesome print all around. This was limited to about 1,500 copies that were ever made, so it is exceptionally rare. One of my rarest cap figs in my collection, and I'm super happy to have it here to show you. And I also have the packaging that went with it, but for a more full review, and history lesson on that, check out my channel where I broke down the whole history of this figure. 
2016 was a huge year for Captain America because, of course, it was the year of Captain America Civil War, but we also got several LEGO minifigs that year. The first we're going to look at is Scuba Captain America. Now, as you can see here, he's got a breathing apparatus around his neck with an angry face on there and covers over his eyes. This minifig was also released in another set that year where he had a backpack on the back to help him uh, breathe in space, but unfortunately, I've lost that backpack somewhere over the years. The Scuba Captain America also had red flippers, but to put the red flippers on there, he wouldn't stand on the stand, so you'll just have to use your imagination for that as well. Mighty Micros was a short-lived theme for Marvel and DC, where we got short-legged characters that were actually cartoonized versions of the Avengers. This is also technically pretty close to a comic book Captain America, although it's a little too goofy for me to give it the full credence of that honor. But regardless, it's still a pretty cool figure and definitely a quirky little throwback to a different time for LEGO Marvel. Now, as I said, 2016 was the year of Captain America Civil War, and this figure came in the Black Panther Pursuit set, which also gave us our first ever LEGO Black Panther minifigure. This has the same torso and shield as the Age of Ultron and Civil War cap we've been talking about. However, the head was new for the Steve Rogers character, where you've got a determined face on one side and an angry face on the other side. Interestingly, I believe they used this exact same head for Hawkeye in a later set for Captain America Civil War, which is kind of awkward to use the same head for two characters from the same movie. 2016 also gave us one more San Diego Comic-Con exclusive cap, and in fact, as of this video, it's the last Comic-Con exclusive Captain America that was ever made. This is the Steve Rogers Captain America from San Diego Comic-Con 2016. I've got the packaging back here as well, and this came from a very, very controversial story in the comics, where it turns out that Steve Rogers was a Hydra agent the entire time. Fans really reacted poorly to this, and it entirely changed the way Captain America had been viewed over the last several decades, so Marvel retconned the story and kind of kicked it under the bed and pretended it never happened, but because of how controversial it is, I'm shocked that this was made into a Lego minifig. Like, Lego, make anybody else. Nobody likes this version of Captain America. Regardless, this figure is still worth several hundred dollars today, and I can definitely see it being worth at least a thousand as the years go by and it continues to get more and more rare. 2017 began a little cooldown period for Captain America, and for the next several years, we only got one cap minifig per year. For 2017, the cap fig we got that year was the pilot Captain America. It was cool because the torso was kind of a little bit of a throwback to uh, the first Avenger. Not entirely, but just a nice little throwback. He's got a shield and a very unique head with pilot goggles on. 2018 gave us the Infinity War Captain America. This cap has the star on his torso blacked out, as well as some great printing on the back. He's got brown gloves on and these cool like Wolverine claw things, as well as a beard on the head that has been really good for customs over the years. He's got a smirk on one side of the head and a more serious face on the other. I think this figure has aged exceptionally well, and I can definitely see it going up in value, although as of this video, it hasn't like skyrocketed or anything. As we get into 2019, we've got to talk about the infamous Endgame sets. Now, if you were into the Avengers around the time of Endgame, you know that everybody was trying to avoid spoilers, including the toy makers. So, every single Avengers Endgame Lego set gave you minifigures in these quantum suits to avoid spoilers. Now, this figure was cool because it introduced a new head underneath for Steve Rogers with a smirk on one side and a more determined look on the other. This head would be used on Captain America for the next several years, and it did introduce the new shield piece too, which had some black trim around the edges, as well as the perimeter of the star. So this is definitely one of the least exciting Captain America minifigs, but he's got to have a spot on our list. You guys know there's nothing I wouldn't do for you, including spending $40 to get this Duplo Captain America off of eBay. Now, I bought the whole set. That's why it was so expensive. But he does have this really unique giant shield piece here, which could be good for, like, mocks or something like that. But it clips right into his hand. Just like all other Duplo figures, you can move the arm 360 degrees, but the hand doesn't move. You, of course, can make the figure sit. There's studs in the back so he can stand on Duplo studs, and the head turns side to side. So overall, it is a nice figure as far as Duplo goes, but don't be like me and spend a crazy amount of money just to get this figure to complete a video. <laughs> 
2020 also gave us the video game Captain America based off of the Avengers video game, and he used that shield that debuted the year prior from the endgame line of sets. The torso is really good, and it introduced yet another head that would be used on Steve Rogers going forward, and this gives him the chin strap on one side, and then a smirk on the other side. It's definitely a cool figure. I always like the little shield holder that was added to the back. I think that that's a nice touch as far as the print goes, and overall it is a nice figure, but it's kind of been forgotten because that game didn't live up to the hype. At least that's my take on it, and uh, you know, I think that it's easy to forget about this figure because of that. 2021 kicked off an insane year for Captain America. We got so many minifigs, but the first one was the mech minifig that obviously came with the mech. As you can see, he's got the uh, head here that has the chin strap with the smirk on the backside, and it's not really based off of any one specific Captain America outfit as far as I can remember, but it's still a cool minifig and definitely a great addition to the lineup. 2021 gave us the beloved CMF series for Marvel. Hopefully we get a series two sometime down the line. And of course, this gave us the zombie Captain America. Now, this figure is phenomenal and I think among the best ever from Lego Marvel because you've got dual molded legs with different colors, printing on the sides of the legs, printing on both arms, a custom, well, at least unique shield that goes with this. We'll lift it up so you can see he's got a glove on under there, and we can lift it up to see a completely unique zombie head for the character, as well as some zombie damage on the helmet and some printing on the back. It's hard to think of Marvel figures that are better and more printed than the ones in the CMF series, so this cap is definitely a standout. From the CMF series, we also got the Sam Wilson Captain America from the Falcon and Winter Soldier. And once again, this figure has dual molded legs with printing on both sides, printing on the front of the legs and the toes, great arm printing on both sides, a brand new shield that came with this figure and Bucky from the series. If we lift the head up, you can see that we can lift the wings off. The wings are poseable on the ends, by the way and Red Wing is detachable from the back of the wings, which is super, super cool. We can turn it around so you can see he's got printing on the back of the torso. He also has goggle printing on the back of the head that moves up to the front. Again, just like the zombie cap, it is a standout, and we did get a Captain Carter in this series, but she's not technically Captain America, so we're not going to show her in this video. And although I'm kind of just breaking the rule I set five seconds ago, I will show you the Steve Rogers from the What If set. Yes, this Steve Rogers didn't become Captain America, but I can already see the barrage of comments if I didn't include him. Where's the What If Captain America? Where's the What If Steve Rogers? So here he is. It's a great looking figure. He was the pilot of the Hydra Stomper, of course, and not much to say about him because he's pretty basic, but he's here. From the Infinity Saga wave, we actually got an update on the 2015-2016 Captain America. And just to show you them side by side so that you can truly see how much progress was made, here is the original on the left and the new one on the right. You can see that there's just a little bit more complexity in the printing of the torso, a little darker shades in some places, slightly different variants. Of course, the head gives us that chin strap look again with the smirk on the other side and the new shield. So it wasn't a major upgrade from the first one, but considering it was a number of years after the first one came out, it was definitely a worthy addition to help people get this cap suit from Age of Ultron slash Civil War several years later in case they missed out on the first one. The Infinity Saga wave went back to Endgame and gave us a final battle, Captain America, which of course gave him the scale mail on the torso. You can see as I move in the light, he has a Mjolnir, the most recent version of the shield as far as the sets go, that is. He's got the chin strap head with the smirk on the other side and new printing on the back. Definitely a great figure. And to me, I was blown away when this figure came out like, oh my God, we finally got Endgame cap. But the only thing new about him is the torso. I guess the torso is that good though that it makes the figure stand out to me, but this one definitely could use a little custom upgrading, which I've done here on the channel if you'd like to check that out. Now, you may be thinking we saw this mech Captain America figure a little bit ago, and that is correct, but this figure did come out in some foil bags in Europe that had some additional accessories in the way that Bricklink categorizes these. Technically, it's a different minifigure, but to me, I think if you have the base minifig, that means you have them all. You know, I don't really care if they have like a backpack accessory or a weapon or something that makes them a new version. To me, it's the base minifig, and this was the same in all of them. 
And the final Captain America minifig to talk about as of the time that this video is made is the 2023 Captain America, which throws back to the 2012 cap. So let's move him to the side and put our 2012 cap next to him so you can see how much progress was made in about 11 years. Uh, the new figure, of course, does really, really stand out, especially with the different shades of blue on the torso. Of course, he's got that new, slightly more detailed shield. And if we lift up the head, you can see he's got a brand new head with those uh, eyebrows there that look really good and kind of come through the whole thing. We've got back printing that is completely different from the original. And overall, I do think it is a major upgrade, although I still have a lot of nostalgia for that first one. Anyways, that brings us to the end of our Captain America journey as of this video. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts on every Captain America. Ever. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Be sure to hit like and subscribe down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.